Hey everybody, it's Chicken Connor, and welcome back from our Paper Mario. In the last part, we got to this weird looking maze, and there were some lock trees above it, and they were saying, Hey, where'd you drop it? Idiot Heaven Puff will have our clouds if we don't find it. Oh man, I'm so clumsy. That stone gave us an endless supply of water. Without it, we can't increase the power of the Puff Puff machine. It's just gotta be right here somewhere. It's just gotta be. What? Is that Mario? Look, man, it's Mario. Let's look for the stone later. Let's rough this dude up. Oh no, Mario, are you sure? I'm not sure I'm, you know, in the right mental state. Ah, forget it, I'll fight anyway. Here comes Mario. So these Lakitus are the ones doing this. Mm. Let's go ahead and take out all these guys, because I really don't feel like fighting enemies right now. Of course, they spawn more spinies. Yeah, alliteration. Yay! Alright, let me power bounce this dude. Come on. And gone. Alright. God, that was amazing though, like I couldn't do my power bounce right in the amazing days he attacked me and I got a lucky. That was hilarious. It was almost as funny as like when I get like double star points against general guy. <laughs> I don't think anything will ever top that in this uh, in the remainder of this series and everything. That, uh, me getting double star points on General Guy that was just so awesome, and I freaked out. I'm like, ah! All right, come on, die! Oh, we get a defense boost. These spells haven't been really as useful lately. I have to say that much. Last time it was really super useful was like when we had that uh you know double star points of general guy which was like one and a half chapters ago. Okay, go. All right, fourteen star points, not doubled unfortunately. Fly away. All right, now here we're gonna be in a hedge maze. It's a good idea to have a party member like what or a uh, bow or power carry or somebody who can fly with you. That way you can better tell your location when you're in the shrubs. Even though you can basically get it from the screen scrolling. By the way, it's time for another exciting edition of Chugga Conroy's Useless Knowledge! In the player's guide for Paper Mario 1, there is actually a typo in this portion of the game where it suggests you to use a flying party member to get through uh, this maze. However, instead of saying bow, it suggests that you use boo. Haha, <laughs> typo. Don't ask me how I remember that. I never forget anything. I swear to God, I don't forget anything. It's crazy. Um, however, I am kind of forgetting how to get through this maze. <laughs> or no, I'm not. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. And you go in through here, and we get this coin block. Yay! Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We have a really hideous looking flower. Um, is there at least any invisible blocks around here? Nope. What do you got to say to us? Oh, hello. It seems ages since I last saw a visitor here, and there's really elegant music. I'm Rosie, a rose spirit. Is it like a star spirit? Here I am in full bloom, and there's nobody to look at me. Please admire me, all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? No! Oh, you don't think so, Tiki? You don't have to be so coy. I can tell you're too shy to compliment me to my face. Then praise this instead. <gasps> the water zone. This stone isn't beautiful. I just found it the other day. Isn't it beautiful? Some strange creatures on clouds dropped it. I couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter. It made. I made it mine. I could look at it all day. Huh? What did you say? I should give you the stone? Oh dear, you're saying Lily's in trouble without the stone? Oh, how very sad. Well, it can't be helped. This stone is mine now, you see? <sighs> you mean Lily would wither up without the stone? Huh, how sad, really. How very pitiful. It's hard to believe that Lily sometimes actually like she's prettier than I am. Actually, I think she is. That is, if flowers could actually be hot. <laughs> she's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there will be no flowers to set off, to set off my beauty. Let's see, tell you what. You bring me something more beautiful than the stone. I'll think about trading it. So, let's wait till then. 
Okay, now, you have to go back to see Posey at the Crystal Tree. She'll have, uh, she'll give you basically a berry off the uh, Crystal Tree. As you might imagine everything, you try to think of beautiful things that you've seen in the, uh, gar in the, uh, gardens of Flower Fields, and that's basically the major one that comes to mind. So, I think I'm gonna actually cut and resume when I'm there, okay? A lot of cutting in this chapter. I don't know, I- oh! Oh, that's the solution. You're not supposed to break that brick block. You're supposed to hit it, and then you're supposed to get the shooting star. And I got hit by first strike. Okay, we're here at the crystal tree. Oh, Rosie told you to bring her something beautiful. Rosie really loves beautiful things above all else. She's a little self-involved. Have, have you noticed? You really need help, huh? Okay, I'll help you. This tree and I are connected by our roots, as we find out when we hit the tree. So maybe one or two crystal berries will fall down if I shake the root. <laughs> Yeah! Chuck Norris's flower. You. Oops, that was a bit unladylike. E. Rosie should be more than satisfied with that berry. Crystal berry, a glittering berry made of crystal. All right, cutting back to where Rosie is. This chapter has a lot of backtracking, so I'm cutting it almost as much as I am with Shy Guy's Toy Box. But this chapter is actually cool. Okay, see you guys in a minute. Okay, we're back to Rosie. Let's go ahead and talk to her and get the thing. Have you found anything? Yeah, also I found the crystal bird. Oh, pretty, I love it. It's much nicer than this ugly old stone. Better hurry back and give the stone to Lily. Make sure she knows that she was saved because of me. Whatever. Magical stone. Water springs from it. Oh, such loveliness. I've gotten so beautiful that I'm just... that I'm starting to scare myself. Who is the most beautiful flower in all the flower fields? That is me, of course. Whatever. Cutting it to when we go to Lily, alright, you know where Lily is, I've shown you already, you don't need to see it again. Okay, and we're back over here to Lily. Oh, it's the water stone, quickly put it in that hole there. That's what she said. No, I'm kidding. Put the water stone in there, really doesn't look like it fits that well because it's flat and the rest of it's three. The rest of the area is 3D. Oh my god, a hexagonal spew of water that came up from its N64 graphics. Ah! I like how Mario just falls. And it filled up that area, now we can get to that tree in the middle of a sushi. Awesome. Get up, Mario. Oh, it's water. Sweet water. The spring is full of water. I'm floating again. Oh, this is paradise. Thank you so very much. I'll give you some miracle water from the spring. Here you are. Very cold water. It glitters in the sun. It's the most nourishing water around. It's water with a little lily extract. If you use this miracle water on any plant, it'll grow like gangbusters. Oh, but not right now, because there's no sun. Oh yes, great idea, you should go see about getting the sun back into this guy. I'm so for a guy like you must have some idea of how to get the sun back up again. I bet you'll do it. You saved me, after all. Anytime anyone says the uh, word gangbusters, it always reminds me of the old Beatles cartoon. I don't know if you guys ever saw it, though, but my dad was like the biggest fan of the Beatles ever. And uh, he had like all the episodes of the Beatles cartoon, like uh, on VHS tapes and everything. And there was like an episode like where I think Paul said like, "Oh, it's getting popular like Gangbusters," and like Ringo comes in like with a gun and like shoots up everything. Uh, that was actually that that was one of the things I liked from it though, because I don't know, I don't. My dad kind of burnt me out from the Beatles though, because like that's all he ever listened to. Like I'm not kidding you. Uh, by the way, that bubble, that thing we got from that bubble planet was a bubble berry, which we're gonna need. But uh. Yeah, my dad listened to the Beatles all the time. Like, I mean, like, that was all he ever listened to. And after ten years, it actually kind of burnt me out from the Beatles, and I actually don't like their music that much anymore now. <laughs> Which is kind of a shame, though, because even I'll agree that they have some good music. Um, yeah, now we have the, uh, hang on, let me go ahead and show you this. Um, a lot of letters we gotta deliver, damn. We have the magical bean, the fertile soil, and the miracle water. Now all we need is the sunlight, and we can create a plant. We can make a miracle. Let's go up here, the only place we haven't... Oh, one of the only two places we haven't been yet. I just know this is the right place. My name's Bubble Plant. Well, your name is Bubble Plant. You wanna know why my name's Bubble Plant? I'll tell you if you give me a bubble berry. Let's give him a bubble berry. Oh, awesome. Good going. Okay, get a load of this. Get a load of this! Brings me back to Sonic Adventure. Um, there it is, isn't it great? Now we can ride this bubble across. Don't touch those spikes! 
Uh, it, it popped the bubble. <laughs> it popped the bubble with its stinger. That is hilarious. Whoa. Whoa. What? What that? Never seen that attack before. That is weird. Did it just like give birth in the middle of the battle to hurt us? What do you got? Oh, it gets defense boosts. It can do crap like that and assist enemy. Just great. Anyway, though, we got a hell of a lot of stuff done in this part. Um, this chapter's really moving along pretty fast, alright? But we're gonna cut off for now, okay? So anyway, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Big yellow button. Give me good five-star reviews down below this video. Be sure to check out my other parts if you like this one, okay? I will see you guys later.